Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you effects chains in Reaper. As you probably know, to add effects onto tracks, just click over here and we can add them right here. But the benefit of effects chains is we can save them as groups or a group of effects. Let's say we're working on a vocal and we want to add multiple effects. Let's add an EQ and let's set it up as a filter. Let's turn this back on. Let's delete a few of these bands. Let's make this one a low pass and bring it up. And now we have a low pass filter and a high pass filter on this track. Now let's say we wanted to compress it. Double click over here, let's add a compressor, maybe adjust our threshold. And let's say afterwards we want to add another EQ to finish it off. Double click again, add another EQ. Let's add some top end, some mids, maybe take out some lower mids. And that's our finished EQ for this male vocal. And let's say this is typical for other singers we work with, or for working with a specific singer on many different songs. We might want to save this chain to use again. Our filter, our compressor, and our finished EQ. So we can save that as an effects chain. So to do that, just right click over here, go to effects chains, and save it right here. Save all effects as chain. Now we could also save selected effects as a chain. Maybe we wanted to save the filter and the compressor, but the finished EQ we're not sure about. We could select these two, right click, go to effects chain, and save the selected effects as a chain. But we're going to save them all. So we'll choose the one right here. Save all effects as chain. We'll give it a name. We'll call it male vocal. And now if we're working on a different project with the same singer or someone similar, we can open it back up by right clicking over here, load effects chain, and choose it right here, male vocal. And they show up exactly how we saved it. Now it also saves our effects settings. So that's important because it saves the effects settings in addition to the effects. Now there's a few different ways of opening effects chains. Let's clear this. Another way we could do it is hit add and go down here to our effects chains and choose it right here. And that opens it up as well. But my favorite way of doing it is right clicking over here. Right click, add effects chain, and choose it from here. I find that to be the quickest. Now, if we save a lot of effects chains, this menu can get very cluttered. So to keep it simplified, we can use folders. Let's save it again. Save all effects as chain. But this time, we'll make a new folder. We'll name it Vocals. And we can save all our effects chains that are used for vocals in this folder. Let's save it again. And now, we could right click, load it here, open the folder to find it, or right click over here, see the folder, and here's the effects chain. That'll keep things a lot more organized if you have a lot of effects chains. Now you might be thinking the purpose of effects chains is for multiple effects, but that's not really true. We can save one effect as an effects chain, and that does serve a purpose. Let me show you. Let's go back to our filter right here, and let's say we set this up to show in-track controls. We can touch this frequency here, show in-track controls, and it shows up right here. Let's do the same thing for our low pass. Choose the frequency, show in track controls, and that shows up here as well. It also shows up in the mixer. Right here, those are our in track controls. 
we can adjust these parameters without looking at the plugin. But if we save this as a preset, it's not going to save these in track controls. But if we save it as an effects chain, it will. Let me show you. Let's select this. Save selected effects as chain. We'll name it filters. And now if we clear this, go to our effects chain, choose our filters, it opens back up, and the in-track controls show up as well in the track control panel and in the mixer. So that information is saved with our effects chain. So it makes sense to use it even on one effect. It also comes in handy for parameter modulation. Let me show you. Let's clear this. Let's add a pan effect. We'll type pan in the filter. And we'll choose volume pan smoother. So from this plugin, we can adjust our pan. And we can modulate it to create an auto pan. Select it. Choose parameter modulation for that parameter. And let's go down here and choose LFO. Let's choose centered as the direction. We could adjust the speed to be slow or fast. We could set it up to our tempo. Let's set it up to be two quarter notes or one half note. And now it's moving from left to right based on a half note. So if we bring this into a different song, the speed of the pan is going to line up to that project tempo. But if we save this as a preset, it's not going to save this modulation. But if we save it as an effects chain, it will. So let's right click, save all as effects chain, and let's name it Auto Pan Half Note. Now, if we delete this, we can add it back in to any project or any track by going right here and choosing it from this menu Auto Pan Half Note. And it adds right in, and it's already modulating. So that's pretty handy for saving that effect. Now it also works for renaming our instances. Let's go back to the male vocal. And over here, we could rename each instance based on what they do. So this is a filter. Let's rename it right here to filters. This one's just a compressor. And this one was our finishing EQ. So now we could tell what each one of them is doing. And we could see that in our mixer, right here, our filters, our compressor, or the finishing EQ. And we could also see it when we right-click over here. Our filters, our compressor, or the finishing EQ. So now if we resave this in our effects chain, put it in the same place, now if we reopen it, not only does it open with our settings and our effects, but it also saves those names, filters, compressor, and finishing EQ, which is also great for saving one plugin as an effects chain. Let's select this one, save selected effects as chain, we'll rename it as filters, and now we can clear this, open it back up by right clicking over here to our filters, and it opens it back up with our plugin, the settings, and our customized name. Very helpful. And it also saves if we rename our parameters. Let's set this back up to show in track controls over here. And let's say we wanted to rename them to make them easier to see. We could right click, go to alias, name this HP for high pass filter. 
and name this LP. Now the names have changed over here and in the mixer. Right over here makes it easier to see what they're doing. That also gets saved with our effects chains. So again, let's resave this. And if we recall it, it opens up with our settings, with our custom name, the in-track controls, and the custom name of those controls, or the aliases, both here and in the mixer. So our effects chains can save a lot of information, a lot more than our presets. And finally, we could use them as defaults for our new tracks. Let's clear this. And let's say you want to have a low pass filter and a gate on every channel. Let's add an EQ. Get rid of these bands. Make it a high pass. Leave it down here. Show in track controls. We'll alias it to VHP like this. Let's rename this instance. And now it's at a gate. We'll choose the regate, adjust the threshold, set up the parameter to be in track controls. So it shows up here. Let's rename it. Rename the control to be a gate threshold. So it looks like this. And the mixer, it looks like this. Now, if we wanted this on every new track, just right click, go to effects chains, and choose this down here. Save all effects as default chain for new tracks. If we choose that, now if we create new tracks, each track is set up the same way with a high pass filter and a gate. With the custom names right here, the settings and the alias parameters right here. Make new tracks and they all start off exactly the same way. So it's very useful if you want to start off with effects on every new track. So anyway, that's effects chains in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!